What's up? This is Chris Henderson, and I'm turning down my TV because this bitch is annoying. Uh, all right, this is Earth Defense Force 2017, but of course you knew that by the title of the video that you are watching right this second. This is gonna be a quick review because really there's nothing special about this game. You just run around, shoot shit. If you can see all the way on the bottom, it actually shows you how much time you played in the game, actual game. I've been on the freaking screens longer than the game because each mission is really, really short. And there's about, uh, I think, 58 of them. I'm up to 28. Let me start off with the first one. The second one. That, actually, that's more action. I wanted to show you. Uh, Alright, let me just say, uh, the guns, there's like 150 guns, but they're all almost the same, really. Uh, and they come in little picture things. They're just pictures that say weapons or health or large health or armor. That's it, pretty much. That's all. It says weapons, that means, ooh, ooh, special weapon, maybe I'll unlock it. And there's six achievements in this game. Alright, this is the game, and of course this does not look like a 360 game one bit. At least to me, it does not look like a 360 game. Look at this. You can't even see your character's face. The only way to see his face, I remember there was some way I, for I forgot how I lo looked at his face. I don't even remember. Alright, well... This should win one of the awards for most enemies on screen because, I mean, there's not as many as in, like, maybe Dynasty Warriors, but these freaking guys are freaking huge as balls. I mean, and look at all that blood. See, look, uh, this is what I was talking about, like, weapon, pictures. Well, that doesn't say health, but that's health right there. That's weapon. Ooh, new weapon. Special. Because there's an achievement if you get all the weapons in the game. You have to beat it on every freaking difficulty. There's five of them to get all the achievements and all the weapons is in their achievements. So there's only six achievements in this game. And this game is really freaking annoying, kinda. I mean, it's really fun to run around and shoot crap. But sometimes you pick a weapon that you don't know what will do and you find out it sucks and then you have to start the whole freaking mission over and get the... See, like this. See, I just killed one of my friends, and I just blew up a whole freaking building, which really looked retarded. Ow! Bastard! And, I mean, they gave me a map, but I don't want to look at it when there's a whole bunch of freaking bugs everywhere. I mean, it's really nice, but it doesn't really show me much. Mission cleared. I'm done. That's it. That's the second mission. I just beat the mission. That's one out of 58. I spent $10 on this game. I think I got my money's worth, but damn. I didn't get no new weapons. That sucks. I picked up like five of those things. Alright, let me start, I guess, the third mission. I need to show you a little bit more. Actually, you know what? I'll do this. I'll do like half of this mission now in this video because I just showed you everything about this mo uh, this uh, game already, pretty much. Alright, yeah, you can use vehicles, but the vehicles suck. Don't use them, really. Only for like one thing when you're fighting robots later. Really, I can't show you the robots. They're too big, they move too much, and it'll screw up the video. I swear to God, it will. I have no... Look how many enemies are on that, on that map. Those are all enemies. There's probably 150 of them. I'll just guess. Alright, well... I can't show you all the weapons, of course. I don't even have all of them. They don't start off with all of them. You have to find them on all of the difficulties. So really, it's a good play. The story, there is no story really. Just aliens attacking. You have to go save the uh, world. That's it. And you play as just an uh, unnamed soldier. And it lags a little bit. Did you just see that? That lags. That's the second time I had lag in this game. Instructions are stupid looking, but it's nice that you can just blow up this whole... Fr watch this, watch this. This whole tower. Boom! Yeah, that was sweet. Oh, this is sci-fi movie extravaganza right here. This makes no sense. This game is fun. It's straight from Japan. I recommend it highly, actually. It's really fun for about uh, two, three hours, so maybe a rental. But I highly recommend it if you like sci-fi games or movies, just sci-fi movies that make no sense, or like those B movies. Uh, anyway. Let me just shoot a couple more aliens. Let me blow this building up right over here. Hey, bastards. Do I have any backup? Backup's all the way over here. I have to go all the way over there. What are they doing? They're doing nothing while I'm getting killed. And we'll go up these stairs. Look at this. Look at these graphics. They're terrible. Look at that. Look at those stairs. I'm sorry. I don't care if I'm getting shot. Look at those stairs. It's not even... Oh, my God. No, get the frick out of my face, son. Look at this tree. It's, like, rolling like it just got, like, knocked down. Like, hey, pick me back up, y'all. 
Alright, I'm, this is supposed to be a short review. I'm going to keep this under six minutes. So, I'm going to blow up a couple more things and I'll be on my way. And sh remember, check the description if you want to see all the ranks for this game. Overall, just look at the description if you want the, the freaking score. Anyways, this is Chris Henderson and I'm going to kill myself. You know what? It'll take too long. Bye-bye.